Hello, young humans. This is your old friend, Michael Shavon, and it's story time. Today's story is going to be Olivia. This was a favorite of my younger daughter, Rose, when she was little, and she requested that I read it today. So that's what I'm going to do. Olivia by Ian Falconer. He wrote it and he did the illustrations as well. I'll show you the first picture as I get started. And then I will read and show you the picture after. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. And just so you can see that, the book, if you look really close, it's called 40 Very Loud Songs. So one thing that Olivia must be good at is singing really loud. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Let's take a look at all the things Olivia knows how to do to wear out other people and herself. Can you see? She's singing, she's running, she's jumping, she's playing with a yo-yo, she's doing a headstand, she's kicking a ball. I don't, know, I don't know what, yelling, maybe singing some more here. She's mixing something up, she's leaping and dancing, she's skipping rope. She does so many things all day long. But she wears herself out. Look at her there, she's so tired. <laughs> she is just flat on her back. She is actually flat. That's how flat on her back she is. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Now see, here's Olivia. She put on some lipstick. She tied her ears up with a bow. She has on some fancy red shoes. And there's her little brother, Ian. He's pretty cute. <laughs> he put on lipstick too, because he's copying her. Now, sometimes when you're an older sibling, it's annoying to have your younger siblings copying you. But if you stop and think about it, the reason that a lot of times a little sibling wants a copy the older sibling is because they think the older sibling is so awesome and they want to do just the same kind of thing as their older sibling does. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Being firm is kind of a polite way of saying being a little mean. <laughs> See what she did? She made a scary mask out of a paper grocery bag with pointy teeth and she's scaring Ian away. Poor Ian. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog, Perry, and Edwin, the cat. So see, there's Olivia, there's Ian, you know them. There's the dad, there's the mom, there's Perry, the dog. And there's Edwin, the cat, who has his back to us. Cats can be like that. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat, let's, let's take a look at that one just to see what that means. See? see? See, cats, sometimes they just sort of sit around. And I guess Olivia likes to pick the cat up and carry him around. And then it says, and brushed her teeth and combed her ears. After she's done those things and moves the cat again. See that? <laughs> After she does all those things in the morning, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Oh, look at that, that's a two pager. Now, notice everything, all the clothes are red. Olivia's always in black and white or gray. But the clothes are red. 
ballet, that's kind of a sweatshirt, some little red sneakers, dress. See, she's trying on, looks like she's tried on every single thing in her closet. And that's a pair of stockings there, so it almost looks like she's trying on maybe her mom's things too, not just her own. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. <laughs> she is carrying this huge beach ball. That's something you need when you go to the beach. And then, when to be prepared, you see she's got her little bathing suit on. And look closely, she's got water wings, floaties, on her arms, the kind that you blow up and they you put them on your arms and they help you float in the pool. And then look closely, she has earplugs and goggles so, and a bathing cap. She's ready. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sandcastles. This is last summer when Olivia was little. There's her mom wearing sandcastles. And there is a kind of a lumpy looking sandcastle and Olivia is watching. She got pretty good. Check this out. Look at that. What did she make out of sand? You know what that is? That's the Empire State Building. That is a very tall building in New York City. There's Olivia. There's her mom in her chair. There's the ocean. And there's little Ian. What's he doing? He's talking to a crab. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. Bask means to, to lie and let the sun rays just come down and warm your whole body. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. And what happens to you if you lie out in the sun too long, especially if you don't have enough sunscreen on, enough protection. Look what happened to Olivia. She got a sunburn. She's all pink. And you can see where her bathing suit was is still the same color, the white color. And there they are going home from the beach. It's time to go home and she's all burnt. Ian is okay. He must have let his mom put on sunscreen. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. So there's Olivia sitting on her bed. And there's a picture of Ian and Olivia in the background that Olivia must have made. And there's the mom coming in saying, time for your you-know-what. Does Olivia look happy about nap time? I don't think so. Of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. Just to prove that she's not sleepy to her mom, look at her with her red tights on. And she's doing plies and jetés and I don't know what all kind of ballet things or what, or what Olivia thinks are ballet things. She's not sleepy at all. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Let's look at that. There they are at the museum. There's the mom, and there's Olivia, and there's Ian, and there's her favorite picture. And it's a painting by a famous painter named Degas of Ballerina. So Olivia really loves ballet, doesn't she? She probably wants to be a ballerina when she grows up. Olivia looks at the painting for a long time. What could she be thinking? Here's a picture. Almost as if you were the painting on the wall looking down at Olivia. And she's looking up at you. And who knows? What do you think she's thinking? There's a... Ian in the background looks like he's wondering, like, what does she like about that painting so much? 
Well, maybe since she wants to be a ballerina when she grows up, if that's what she wants, maybe that's what she's thinking. Let's turn the page and see. I think so. Here's what she's imagining. There she is, dressed in a real ballet costume. And she's on a stage, see? You can see the parts of the set, the wings of the stage. And there she is. And this is what she's imagining. This is what she thinks about when she looks at that famous painting at the museum. But there's one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. You see that? That's another painting. That is a painting by a famous artist named Jackson Pollock. And that is how he painted, by spattering the canvas with streaks of paint. And I guess Olivia thinks that it looks like something that she could do. A lot of people have had that thought. I think it's harder than it looks. Well, as soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Oh, ready? Uh oh, look what happened. <laughs> look what happened. Have you ever done this? Anything like this? She took paint and she went on the wall just to prove that she could paint a painting like Jackson Pollock. That's her attempt. What do you think? I mean, kind of looks similar, but I don't think her mom's super happy about it because you're really not supposed to paint on the walls of your bedroom. That's why they have museums. Well, time out. Yep, Olivia got a time out. She has to sit on the steps. She's all covered in paint. She looks a little bit like a Jackson Pollock herself, doesn't she? After a nice bath, which you would probably need if you had painted all over yourself, and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. There. there she is in the bathtub. You can see she tracked paint all over the floor. She got paint on the bathtub. But it's, she gets a nice dinner anyway. Looks like she's having spaghetti and meatballs to me. And now it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia is not sleepy at all. Only five books tonight, mommy, she says. She gets story time, just like you. She's requesting five books. See them? She has them stacked. And her mom says, no, Olivia. Just one. How about four? Two. Three? Oh, all right, three. But that's it. It's kind of a long day when you're Olivia's mom because Olivia causes some trouble and paints on the walls and just wears people out. So her mom's sort of ready for Olivia to go to sleep by now. When they've finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. And then she goes to sleep. And there's her mom reading her book. The book is called Callous and it looks like it's about the famous opera singer, Maria Callas. And there's Olivia asleep and look, she's dreaming of being an opera singer. Maybe that's what tomorrow will be all about for Olivia. And maybe tomorrow, if you're having this story at bedtime, you will be pretending that you're Olivia, but don't paint on the walls, okay? I'll get in trouble with your mom or dad. Just one last picture by Ian Falconer, the very end of the book. There she is getting dressed, maybe ready for another day. And I will see you on another day. I will see you tomorrow with another story. I hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. Bye. Be safe. Be well. Take care of each other.